everybody, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do just a quick tutorial how to set up this new power washer that I got and a quick review on it for you guys in case you guys are ever wanting to buy one and you come across this in one of your stores. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into reviewing. <laughs> So the product is the PowerPlay Spider 1900 PSI 1.4 GPM Black Series. I like it because it's very small and it's not heavy at all. I will leave all the links in the description. Sorry, took out everything out of the box as you can see. Sorry, it's a mess. I'm painting out here as well. So a bit of a messy video. I do apologize. Here's a manual if you need it. It's an electric pressure washer. All right, so these are all the accessories. Got them all. There's the wheels. Don't mind the boots once again. This is the machine and this is your power electric cable. All right, so let's just basically put all this into that and see how it works. So you're gonna take your wheel. The instructions come with it, but you're gonna take a wheel. There is like this locking clip there. So basically, it's just gonna slide like that up in here, as you can see, and then you're just gonna push it, voila, like that. Make sure it's in there. You'll hear that it's locked, it's in there. And then here is your stopper, right? The brake on the wheel once it's up on the ground, but you'll hear it go in. It'll do like a little tiny kind of click. So let's do it to the other ones. I'll show you again. So it looks like that. Basically, you will glide it on. There we go. Did you hear that click this time? And then now let's do it to the rest. There you are. Now it's all on. Pretty cool. Has an awesome swivel around 360. Pretty maneuverable, I think, in all directions. Smooth and it's very lightweight. So I really like it. I kind of like the look too, like that spider, you know, legs out type of look. It looks pretty neat, pretty cool. But you know, we didn't buy it for the aesthetics. So this part is basically the hose holder. So this part, these parts are really easy. They just slip in. As you see the groove over there, it's just gonna slip in this way, this kind of motion. So I'm gonna snap it in. See, so it's in there already and then just push it all the way. And then you're gonna hear a snap as well. There you are, so that's. And then to take it off, same thing. Just push it reverse and it comes off if you need to take it off if you're limited with storage or whatnot. This water hose is gonna go over here. All right, what is next? So basically your four different style nozzles that you have, these ones. So they basically go, it's in the back of the machine. So this is the front of this spider. So they go on the back right over here. One, two, three, four, and these four holes. Different nozzle sizes for the water pressure when it's coming out. So let's put them in. Because of their groove edges, once they go in, like this tip goes in, they're in there pretty well. So it's not like you're gonna tip it over. I'll show you in a sec. Let me do this last one. See it now? So it's not like if I tip this over, like look, that they're gonna fall out. Like they, they won't fall out. So they're, they're nicely firm in there. So you're not gonna be losing any pieces as you're pushing this around. All right, so this piece is for your power cable. It's your like hanger here. So there's, see this groove basically you're gonna align it with this over here I think it's here in the dark so you're gonna align it here it's the same thing it's gonna just basically snap in I'm gonna do it like that see it's already in there and then just push it down here a little click and it's in there snug like I'm putting force on it and it's fine and then that is for basically your your power cable right over there and then this is for the water hose on the side all right, so this piece over here just slides through here, as you can see the three edges right here. So it slides into there, and this is basically for your water cannon to sit just like that in place. And then the other piece, the last one, you snap from the bottom up in here, and it will hold your pipe just like that. There you are, it's coming together, that's how it looks. So let me display on the ground exactly how this should all be connected and then we'll take it from there. So 
from the machine, make sure it's this side, this way. It's going to go in right over here. Don't use any pliers or anything. Don't use this side because this is where your water intake is going to go from your garden hose in here. See how it's different? See how it's different? But this water hose is going to go into this connection here. So basically into your chemist, you're going to put whatever chemical, you know, you desire, but I bought, I will show you Karcher <laughs> actually makes them. So I bought the multi-purpose cleaner. Um, this one, you can, all the measurings are here. So basically put in your canister and you're going to put it together and then put it at the end of the tube. Okay. So let's do all that and see how it works. Everything is connected. Look at that. Da -da -da -da. Press it and away it goes. And if you just basically take off the end and add a different nozzle on there just like that. No soap. and spin. All right, everybody, that is a wrap for today. That was a quick review and a quick tutorial to get yourself started on this power washing machine. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And in all honesty, this product was great. My personal review, it, it was fantastic. For this small machine, you get your bang for your buck. Honestly, it's $189.99 in Rona, so plus tax 200 and a bit and it's lightweight it's small it honestly swivels everywhere like there's no problems like before we had one where the wheels were jamming was it going it just was so small and so compact that it fit everywhere um it was easy to put together everything stayed in place i know put it to the test and it cleaned the algae off the pool awesome you know what i mean for your car your rv your boat uh, whether it's your driveway anything outside like your lawn furniture anything like that it will do the job I'm happy with this product, but that's coming from my experience. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. With all that said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys at the next one.